World number one tennis star Novak Djokovic is now basically a political prisoner. And all because he dared to obtain a vaccine exemption to enter Australia. Last night Djokovic was detained, interrogated for eight hours and told he'd be deported. This after two separate medical boards had already approved his exemption. Djokovic travelled to Australia after receiving an exemption from the Victorian government granted after a process that included a panel of health officials. He was approved to board the plane flying into Melbourne. Then the Fed stepped in. This is a disgusting, odious, cynical stunt. And it was almost certainly a setup from the very start. Don't forget, Morrison threatened to deport Djokovic the day before he even arrived, saying that if his papers weren't in order, he'd be on the next plane home. And then, oh, what do you know? His papers aren't in order, and he's being deported. Let's not be stupidly naive. They planned this witch hunt all along. They're making an example out of Djokovic. They're using him to send a message to everyone else. If we can treat a global superstar with virtually limitless legal resources like a a dangerous criminal. Imagine what we can do to you. This isn't a visa paperwork issue, it's a despicable show trial. This is the same country that literally incarcerates people in COVID internment camps and arrests them when they try to flee. This is the same country that bursts into pregnant women's homes and arrests them for criticising lockdown measures on Facebook. This is the same Prime Minister who doesn't even have to follow the same quarantine rules he imposes on everyone else. So don't tell me about the rule of law. This isn't the rule of law, it's arbitrary lawless. To the technocrats, Djokovic represents the threat of a good example. As his mother said, the tennis champ is, quote, someone who is a revolutionary and who is changing this world. As his father said, quote, Novak has become the symbol and a leader of the libertarian world, a world of poor and oppressed nations and people. They can incarcerate him tonight, shackle him tomorrow, but truth is like water as it always finds its way. First, they confiscated Djokovic's belongings, including his wallet at the airport. Then they told him he couldn't quarantine in a rented apartment where the rest of his team is staying. Then they imprisoned him in a flea-ridden shithole hotel with a bunch of illegal immigrants. And that's his punishment. In the Serbian Orthodox Church, Christmas Day is celebrated on January 7th. So now he gets to wake up on Christmas Day in a ghetto guest house completely alone. They've also tried to turn the general public against Djokovic with variations of this argument. Well, everyone else in Australia has faced hardship as a result of the mandates and restrictions. Why not him? Which is basically like saying, all the other slaves have had to wear their chains and embrace their serfdom, so why not him? We already knew Australia was the world's preeminent biosecurity police state. But this is a whole new level. They turned the world's number one tennis star into a political prisoner and caused an international incident. All because he doesn't want to get jabbed. Are you paying attention yet?